Hello, fellow humans, and welcome to this week's shop review with the Byzantis C45 and the other tanks that are in shop. We'll start with those. The T-54-100 and the T-33 are both bad. I would not recommend them under any circumstances. They are cheap, yes, but they're also horrible vehicles. Now, the T-95 E6 is more expensive than that. If it would be 4K for this bundle, I would be fine with it. However, I also do not recommend this vehicle, given that, well, first of all, it's premium... Penetration is pretty good, but its standard penetration is absolutely horrible, so you might as well just play the Pershing. So, then we have the Northern Raiders with the Lance and C, which is a bad tank, and the ML 1951, which is solid. However, the turret armor on this thing is not as strong as you might think it is, therefore making the ML 1 a better vehicle. However, if you like the ML 1, then this can be a good option. However, you have to be aware that your turret armor unless you're using under pressure, is essentially zero. So, just keep that in mind. And then, we have a Panzer V4, which is an absolute mean machine at tier 5. It's a Panther hull, which means it's very, very heavy, which means you can ram tanks very, very easily. So, this is a Seal Clubber's dream right here. So, you have to decide for yourself whether you want to divulge into the de degeneracy of owning that vehicle, and you only have one day time. Personally, I don't recommend it, but if you want to collect tanks, sure. Then, the ICU-102S, I think these have been there last week as well, and it said the same there. ICU-102S, horrible. T-4485, it was given away free. Why the hell would you buy it? It's a tier 7. Don't bother. Which means, that now brings us to the Byzantine Z45. Now, this vehicle is in crates, which immediately throws out any value proposition they might have had. Anyone... That is going to be like, yay, this is a great tank by crates, is an absolute and utter idiot. So, if, if someone does tell you to buy crates to get new tanks, stop listening to them. They're horrible. They hate you. Anyway, don't buy this. This is a horrible value proposition for anyone. Crates are designed to A, get you playing, and B, keep you playing. With that said, that out of the way, obviously, don't buy them. So, essentially, you have one regular shell and a cuck shell, which makes it just a single-shot gun with an emergency shell, which is a bit not a great idea. And uh, it does have, well, auto reloader, which means using calibrated on this thing can be useful. 281 heat penetration will definitely recommend doing that as well, because, I mean, the DPM difference is... Uh, 50. DPM is also slightly higher than that of a T-54E2 and the other, and the accuracy dispersion, definitely want to watch out for that. 8 degrees of compression, which is fine, same as something like an M3O, but overall could be better. Then, the mobility, it's below average in this comparison right here, slower than the T-54, also slower than the ML1951, which is already not that great, even though the effective here is lower as well. Space armor. All over the place. That's the story of this vehicle. Lower plate is a weak spot like on any tank. Upper plate, don't try it. It's pretty well angled. Or at least try to shoot these tiny bits here. So upper plate is not going to be able to be penned very easily. And the turret, 240mm, which means higher guns penetration. Wise, like an ISU-152, like tier 9s, will be able to penetrate the turret with relative ease. If you use your 8 degrees of gun depression, you don't have a cupola on top of the tank. Which means you are going to be somewhat safe. You have like 300 millimeter spots up here that can be penned. However, in general, it is pretty good in the armor department here as well. Sides, the spacing there as well, 150 millimeters. So don't shoot heat at the side, whatever you do. And ideally, don't shoot heat at the front too, because uh, spaced plates like this absorb heat rounds, so they're just not going to pen. Um, and the same at the side, shoot AP, shoot APCR. Don't try to shoot HE either, it's not going to work. But it is going to work on the rear of the vehicle, which is very, very thin. So if you see a Byzanti from the rear, shoot HE, it's most likely going to pin. So the front, though, is pretty well armored. you got some spacing around there, so that is nice. Let's see. Obviously, we looked at the stats. We have below average mobility. We have a essentially single shot gun with an emergency shell that isn't really that accurate. But has pretty damn solid armor. So if we compare it to something like a TF4A2, eh, it might be able to somewhat rival that performance under certain circumstances. However, obviously, it's in crates, which means any performance this vehicle has, it could be double the performance of any other tier 8. If it costs triple the price, it's still not worth it. So, at this point, just don't buy it. Don't buy crates. Crates are horrible. I've warned you. If you buy crates now, that's on you. That's your fault. 
Now, what we have here is, again, I can't fire that second shell because then the entire DPM goes into the bin, which makes also makes it somewhat harder to play than, I think, regular to rate tanks that don't have this kind of problem. Um, but overall, I'm going to stay up here for now. Actually, I won't because there's a tiger there. So I'm going to move through. And, uh, yeah, turret traverse could be somewhat faster. Take a shot at that guy. And uh, he is now going to go push down. Again, can't fire this shell. Don't withstand the pressure of firing the shell. It is going to absolutely triple the DPM. Now, it, it does have pretty solid DPM with the standard shell. So, that's nice, right? That is a good thing to have. And, um, let's see. Man, I have a T-34-3 to deal with. Two of our teammates are already dead. The Action X is coming over here to help out, which is good thing but yeah overall is this thing will be sold for like i don't know 8k gold 9k gold 10k gold even we could talk about it right we could talk about it but now it's in crates crates are horrible well i mean there are i i would assume there are going to be a couple of people in the comments that are like yeah but i got it in one crate yes but other people didn't get it in 25 the value of the tank overall is miserable so don't buy it just don't don't support crates. If you buy them, you support the crates. Obviously, Wargaming is going to keep selling them because they do really, really well. Um, because people don't quite understand how crates work. Um, going to have to just fire that and get the hell out of here. Or at least attempt it. But I don't have a team, so whatever. 2k damage, though. I don't know. I don't really want to like play too well to advertise a tank. Because then you're going to be like, Oh my god, this tank is LP. I have to buy it. I have to buy crates. No, you don't. So, yeah, I'm just going to fire that and be done with it. Anyway, that's this vehicle. Again, it's a good tank. However, no tank is worth this price. And that is to sell your soul to the gambling devil.